Welcome back to Kaleidoscope with Daisy Cousins. Well, I am here with the wonderful broadcaster and journalist and commentator extraordinaire David Atherton to tell us more about the Muslim vote and also the advent of what they call political Islam in Great Britain. David, fantastic to have you back. How have you been since we last spoke? Very good. And thank you for having me again. You know, uh, <laughs> You know, always good, always good to see I was a complete idiot the last time I was on, you know. <laughs> but uh, no, no, no problem. Yeah. No, no, great to have <laughs> you, know, you back because... Always, you, 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 you live in fear of making a mistake, you know. No, no, no. You were, it, you no, were, no we were wonderful last time and we didn't quite get to have uh, the conversation that I think we will really need to be have, which is, of course, about political Islam. And I, I think people get very kind of freaked out about talking about it because they think that we're sort of bashing Muslim people, but that's not the case. It's, the political Islam is different from people privately practicing their religion in their homes. This is about changing society. Sure. And one group that's done that very much so in the UK election was the lobby group called the Muslim Vote, which I spoke about in my editorial, it was very successful at the UK election. It got five MPs into Parliament. It was also successful earlier in the year, getting lots and lots of local council members elected on a pro-Islam, pro-Gaza ticket. So, David, um, what can you tell us about the Muslim Vote? Well, it's been extreme successful. Um, you know, I, there's a word called the Umar, Umar, which is which means the you know, the diaspora of Muslims worldwide, and uh, and their um, loyalty first of all to Muslim to, to, to Islam, and then to the country. You know, that's the Umar. And uh, you know, I, I I I looked at that website before, before before we came on there. They're extremely organised. You know, mm. and you can put in a postcode where you know where you live, and uh, you know, and they tell you the right person to vote for. Um, you know, and broadly speaking, they are just a one-issue, one-issue party. It is that it is. I'll be generous and say anti-Zionist, anti-Israel, and probably amongst many of them, anti-Semitic, plain racist hatred. I, I think Israel's got something like 0.2 percent of the land of the Middle East, and it's the centre of all of all their hate. Um, you know, it really is quite appalling. And, you know, and, and the point is, um, how, how the Muslim uh, vote works, generally speaking, uh, is it's always been no secret. If, if, if you're standing for an MP with a high, high number of uh, Muslims in it, you go and see the local imams and, uh, you mm. know, you, you give them your manifesto. And, and at the, at the, after sort of various people have, got, have, have come out, the imam makes a recommendation who his flock should vote for, who his congregation should vote for. Um uh, it's, it's also called the Muslim bloc vote as well. <clears throat> also, the other thing as well is uh, amongst even the more extremists, if, if, if there are, if, you know, if I use that word, is uh, you know the, the imam will get will get up in, in the mosque and he will say, if you don't if you don't vote for you know Muhammad Ali, uh, is you will go to hell. You oh. will not be getting your seventy two virgins, oh. uh, which is of, under, under electoral law is in I think it was outlawed in eighteen twenty twenty five somewhere around that time. Whereby you cannot invoke religion to, to you know to, to vote to vote for somebody, um, you know it's, it's meant to be purely secular. Uh, there's also some other Muslims that, that were involved that were, that were um, arrested as well. They were carrying around a neon sign on on a van, and it was again by the thought thought by the police to be uh, electrical interference, and they they were nicked and they, they were taken to Bethnal Green Police Station in East London, and a whole mob whole mob turned up to try and get them released. Luckily, the police didn't back down. You know, normally they do. I did hear, hear did hear about a case about, about a taxi driver who got a parking ticket. Mm. Eighty people turned up, and they, they, they had, to, had to let him off the parking ticket. You know, this is basically mob rule. Mm. Yes, it it it, it certainly and, is. No, yeah, go ahead. yeah, yeah. Um, uh, go on, sorry. No, the, no. The, the, net, the net result. Yeah, sorry, sorry, about the net result of this. Is that the Labour Party is running scared because something like depends depends who it is, but what what elections between eighty and ninety percent of Muslims vote for the Labour Party, mm. and uh, the Labour Party is now running scared. And David Lammy, who is our hapless, useless Foreign Secretary, has been going around the Middle East. He visited Israel and Palestine, uh, what so-called Palestine, um, trying try to draw draw support for for a ceasefire, and and also as well, you know, the, the, the net effect of um, the net effect of of of, um, of of all of all this activity amongst the Muslim vote 
is is that uh, the Labour Party is becoming more and more anti-Israel, mm. and also as well, you know, there's a lot, 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 lot of conservatives who, who are sort of uh, picked up on the vibes and, and sounding a little bit, little bit more conciliatory to conciliatory towards the Palestinians. Yeah, it, it's really um, very, it's very interesting and very alarming, the whole thing. Um, particularly alarming when you, you mentioned the website, for instance, I had, a, I had a good look at it too. And the group claims till it's blue in the face that it is not a religious movement. They have it in the frequently asked questions, they have it in other parts of the website. But then uh, they say, like I mentioned in my editorial, they had a, a blog post up which was an open letter from certain Muslim leaders to people to support the Muslim vote candidates. And it opened by mentioning, you know, may the peace of Allah be on everyone. And, and then it said, look, we, we are not a religious movement, we're a political movement. We don't presume to tell you who to vote for. We're not saying that voting for our candidate is righteous and not doing so is sinful, that will be for Allah to judge.